Okay, today I have a fish unboxing from Live Aquaria. I ordered them yesterday and they arrived today. That's what I like about Live Aquaria. They get here really fast even though I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere. So we'll see what we got here. Hopefully everything's doing okay. Get this thing opened up. the pack. Okay, so here are uh, two Otosynclus. They're looking looking really good. Um, I'm going to float them in this one here, get them up to tamp. Okay. Next we have these are panda quarries. Um, there are two in this bag. They're really tiny. Um, no, there's more than two. There's four. I ordered four of those, I believe, and there is four of them in there. They are really little guys. And they're also going to go in this biotope tank. We'll get those up to temp. And now we have some um, 12 uh, Rummy Nose Tetris. They're looking really good. Get them floating. Get those up to temp. And here we have some pencil fish. They were just a mixed pencil fish. I don't remember exactly how many of them I ordered. I will have to um, I'll have to look. So I think there's six of them, something like that. Get that up to temp. And one more. And here we have 25 neon tetras. And they're pretty fair sized. They're not real tiny. And they will be going in this new tank. And move my light back a little bit, get it out of the way, and let that get up to temp. So I have everything floating now. Um, I think what I'll probably do rather than quarantine, and this is a new tank, I'll probably put everything in here and, and medicate in the tank, I think, and just throw some medication in this whole tank to cover it. Um, these here, I'm not sure. I've never had a problem with anything coming from Live Aquaria that ever had a disease or caused any problems at all. Maybe I'm fortunate, I don't know, but I've had really good luck with them. So I'm not real concerned about them bringing in something, but I do have some meds in case I need to, and I do have a quarantine tank. So I will um, get some buckets here and get ready to start acclimating these and then I'll add more to this. Okay, what I've done is I bought five Ariana's pencil fish for this tank on Aquavid. I've lost three of them. I don't really know what's going on. The tank parameters are perfect. They're getting plenty of different types of foods. There's only two left. Just in case they actually have an internal parasite or something like that, I have moved them down here into my quarantine tank and I am going to go ahead and treat them for internal parasites and see if that will keep them alive. That removes everything from that tank so that I can add the new ones. Now I went ahead and added the fish. The Rummy Nose Tetras are in here. The Panda Quarries, um, the Otosynclus are all in here and I add a, about a cup and a half, two cups of water every five minutes. That was after I got them up to temp. The fish that are going to go in this big tank here are my neons, and I'm doing the same thing with them. Have them in a small bucket, 
and I add a half a cup of water every five minutes. So I'll do that for oh for about 20, 25 minutes or so, maybe 30, make sure they're acclimated right. I'll then pour them through a net. I will not add the water and get them in these tanks. This tank should be clean. All I have in here is one little gold angel. And I know I've had it for a long time. I know it's it's absolutely disease free and everything else in this tank is brand new. So it is too. So I will be adding the neon straight to this tank. So a nice school. I think there's 25 of them. And I believe there's 12 of the Rummy Nose Tetras, um, like four Pandacories and two Otosynclus, and they are going to go in this tank here, into my biotope. I also added today a back filter, hang on the back filter, that has Sarah peat pellets in it to try to keep this as more, more of a black water type thing. So I'll keep acclimating and then I'll add them as I go, and I will get some meds in here and see if we can't clear these up because something's going on with those fish. So I'll add more to this once I get them in the tanks. Okay, hopefully you can see this. I am going to add my um, neon detritus now. 50 tall. Okay, come on. See, they're starting to school up, which is really neat. They're gonna, it's gonna take a while to, to get acclimated, or I mean to get used to the tank, but they are schooling up and they're moving around and they're just absolutely gorgeous. And it's gonna make a really nice addition to this 150 tall. I'm gonna do um, quite a few live plants, hoping to do some CO2 injection. Um, eventually I will add discus, the only fish I have in there now is uh, one little gold angel but pretty much all of them are schooled up over here I do have a couple down on this end that aren't quite with the school yet but they're checking checking everything out so I think they look really good and a school of 25 is pretty decent and they're, they're pretty good size too so anyway that's my uh, fish unboxing for today the 25 Neon Tetris for the 150 tall, and my six petrol fish are starting to school up. There's one, two, three, there's five of them there. I'm not sure where the other one is, but they are starting to gather near the surface like they're supposed to. Hopefully, the other one makes it. Um, just looking around, there's a one of the Cory cats right there. Um, Rummy nose are still pretty scattered. Rummy nose are pretty tough. I mean, are tough to acclimate. They don't ship well. Um, I took a chance by doing it. There is a nice little grouping of them here. If I could get the camera to focus again. Come on, focus in. There it goes. And there's some rummy nose tetras right there. And I have six total, and there's one, two, three, four. And there's one back there. So anyway, I'll give them some time and, and hopefully everything acclimates good and everything does well. So that's my own fish unboxing. Kind of excited. So 
that's my video for today.